make plans as a couple. Oftentimes that includes having children and founding a family. However, there are times when either that doesn't seem to come to pass and we don't know why, or there is a specific and defined reason why it doesn't happen. How do you cope with people uh, commenting on the fact that uh, you may take longer than others to have children? And um, we've, we've had instances where a friend of ours actually couldn't have children mm -hmm. and it, it actually caused them a lot of anxiety when people would make underhanded remarks. Mm -hmm. Have you experienced anything like that? The first few years of our marriage, especially the first, the second, first and second year, we kind of, you know, we were always being asked, I think, me more than him maybe, because, um, because yeah. as the one who's having Going to bear, to the, bear, yeah, the, child, to bear yeah. the child, mm -hmm. Like I've had so many people asking me, um, friends from work, from all sorts of family, asking, um, when are you having children? And you know, at first we felt like it was like, oh, um, a little bit of you know anxiety pressure? and pressure yes, every time yeah. someone asks, because um, it wasn't really our plan as well. So one, when we got married, we did, you know, make a plan that and said, you know what, let's enjoy the first few years just for ourselves because mm -hmm. we didn't really want to bring a child into our relationship straight away when we haven't really established that, you know, living together. We haven't lived together mm -hmm. with each other. It takes so a long time mm -hmm. to get to know each exactly. other. I'd like to ask a very personal and very pointed question. It's difficult, but I, I think it's, there are a lot of couples here who probably have been living or have lived this same situation, which is why we're doing this interview. Um, is there, was there a point where you were afraid that you may not be able to have children or that maybe you would be deprived of having children? I'd say there is a certain fear because, I mean, both of us are getting into our 30s at this point. Mm. Mm. Um, and yeah, there is a, a societal pressure. Um, okay. I think especially on the woman's side. Because, mm. um, I mean, the, one of the things with, um, with us men is that we I don't really lose the capability to produce children, really, as, yeah, as that's we age. It. Yeah. Um, where a woman does, whereas a woman's body yeah. does change in a different way. There was a certain amount of uh, mm. pressure, um, whether meant or not, it did happen. Sure. Um, mm. Originally, our decision not to have children, first of all, was from the perspective that we wanted to enjoy at least a year of our marriage. Of course, mm. And secondly, we needed to be in a better position in our home. You need to so we're practically like, speaking. So, so are you talking financially or space-wise? Space-wise. Space um, our, uh, our home that we were living in when we first got married was very small. It was a studio flat mm -hmm. and just wasn't really conducive to trying to bring a child into that no. um, at the time. Mm. Yeah, that would be awkward. Yeah, I think uh, over when we managed to have a home of our own where we can actually have children, we went into that phase where, you know, we were thinking, you know, it's probably time now and it's not coming we're waiting it's not coming yeah. and you know um as I, as um dave was just saying you know we have our biological clock which is mm, that's what i was gonna it's ask. it's the gonna be clock. you know yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's putting a lot of pressures on ladies probably mm -hmm. my age because mm -hmm. i'm at the stage where they would consider me next year i would be you know more of a more difficult for me to mm -hmm. have Children. The majority of us don't really understand this problem because, like Judy and myself, we had our own children. In this video, David and Ella have told us about the situation, and next week's video will focus on their attitudes going forward, especially if it so happens that they may not be able to have children of their own. God bless and I'll see you next week.